for a while but i thought i would just film a cute little fall vlog for you guys today take you along with an average fall day in my life today i actually got back from a trip to texas i did not vlog it but i literally just got off the airplane and got home like 15 minutes ago so i have a bunch of unpacking to do but before i do that i am going to watch a youtube video honest during fall break i have really like not hiccups i've really like not gotten ready for the day like at all but we are gonna change that today we are gonna change that today let's pick out a cute fall fit so it's actually starting to get a little bit cooler now than it has been lately so the high today is 88 degrees and the low is 68 i am going to wear this cute little brandy Melville top with these target shorts now i just need to figure out what to do with my hair i'll probably just keep it like this for today though because i really don't feel like going and washing it right now but the next thing to do is makeup and i haven't worn makeup in like forever but i always feel so much more put together when i put on makeup so i'm just gonna put on some light makeup Now I have done my makeup and I am going to put away some clothes and stuff from my trip that I did not wear. Some of it's on my bed and I just have a few other random things to pick up before I get the day started. But I actually think my makeup turned out really cute and I'm actually starting to like the way my hair is looking today. I thought it looked weird earlier but I don't know, kind of getting used to it. So we are going to now pick up my room and then we will probably do some reading. I've been trying not to bend the spine of this book, but it has just been cracking so much. I don't think you can see it on camera, but the spine is so cracked over here and it's annoying me so much because the only way to not crack it is to read it like this. Even if I open it more than that, you can see the spine's cracking and it's just so annoying. been doing some reading and I got all the way up to page 206 of A Court of Mist and Fury. Um, you can see how far I am. So I'm not quite halfway. I want to maybe get halfway today, which is like 330 pages. That could be doable. I don't know. We'll just have to see. But I feel like now what I'm kind of in the mood for is something that is definitely fall October vibes. And that is to go watch a scary movie. There's a bunch of scary movies on HBO Max. Um, I'm not sure exactly which one I'm gonna watch. Um, later, I also wanna pick up my outfits for this week because um, this week is actually gonna be homecoming week at my school and I'm so excited. And I'm in student council and my school's play. So I have so much going on this week. So I really just need to like plan things out for this week and get things together. But before I do that, let's go watch a scary movie. I 
just woke up from like a three hour nap. And I'm still tired. <laughs> I just had some dinner and now my sister and I are gonna watch Frank and Weenie. I only watched like 30 minutes of Corpse Bride earlier. I just wasn't feeling it. So we're gonna watch some of Frank and Weenie right now. And I also have like practiced some lines for my play because I didn't want to forget them over the break. And I still know them, we're good. Hello, it is now the next morning and I have some things to get done today. I am going to try to do some PSAT studying um, because I have the PSAT on Wednesday. I need to just catch up on some editing and I have a bunch of cleaning to do and some reading I would like to get done. So today is kind of just going to be a day of doing miscellaneous tasks that I've been kind of putting off. So it's a little bit later and I've kind of just been looking up some things about the PSAT to kind of prepare me. Um, not me literally studying two days before, but I know the PSAT doesn't matter as much as the actual SAT and the ACT, but I think the PSAT will just kind of be a good starting point for me to see like how good I would do on the SAT because you can like convert the scores. I definitely want to start studying for the SAT this year and I think the PSAT will just kind of be a good starting point for me. They did give us like a little guided workbook thing that I'm kind of just going to look through real quick and take some practice tests in here to kind of prepare myself, I guess. So that's what I think I'm going to be doing for the next few hours. It is currently 11.11 and I'm probably gonna do this until like 1 p.m. So that's what I'm gonna do. I have just like been on my phone doing absolutely nothing um and I really only did PSAT prep for like 30 minutes I only got through the reading section so I definitely need to do some more of this but I'm like not wanting to but I know I need to I did just do some journaling which I really liked I started this journal at the beginning of the year and I don't know if you can see that, but this is the beginning. So I really haven't even gone halfway through this journal, which is kind of upsetting because I wanted to finish this journal this year, but there's like, this is the last page I filled up and there's all these pages. I would love to finish this by the end of the year, but I would have to write like three pages a day, which I don't know if I can do that, but I'm going to try because I want to finish that one. So then I can start this cute one. Oh my gosh, my dog's here. Marley. Marley! Marley! Anyways, I really want to start this cute one. It just has like a bunch of like graphic faces, like abstract on it. And then the pages just look like this and you like put the date like that. And I think this would be cute more of like a diary type of journal and it says thoughts on the front. So <laughs> my dog is so cute. Anyways, I think this would just be a cute little like thoughts diary journal, whatever you want to call it. And then I could get a different journal for like all my other stuff I do. Like I have my TBR in that journal for this month. I had like all the midnight tracks as Taylor was releasing them. I wrote those in there. But yeah, I, there's my little journaling rant. Yeah, I really just need to do some more PSAT prepping. And the really good thing I like about this book is it doesn't just say the correct answer. It explains why that answer is correct and why all the other answers are incorrect. So I can like learn from my mistakes and like why I did things wrong. So I'm going to do this and it's currently 327 and I'm going to do this until 4 o'clock. So um, let's do some PSAT prep. I'm going to try filming this clip in cinematic mode to see if this is how I want to film my videos from now on. So I'll see how this, so I'll see how this clip looks in the video. 
because I think it's nice how it like blurs the background. It feels more like an actual professional camera. Um, but anyways, something I've also done lately that I forgot to mention is I've kind of put myself not on a book buying ban, but on a book buying restriction because because I own more books that I haven't read than I have read because I like went through them recently and like looked and counted and I have like way too many books that I haven't read on my sh shelf so I have limited myself to buying two books a month. It's not even just buying books, it's bringing in two books because the thing I used to do is I'd be at a little free library or like Goodwill or somewhere and the book would be one dollar at Goodwill or like free at the little free library and I'd be like oh it's like no money so I can just like it basically doesn't count as buying a book, but I'm still bringing it into my collection. I am trying to save money, but I'm also just trying to read the books I have before I get more. I would like to have my physical TBR be around 10 books because I do like to have books I haven't read and like have a variety so I can choose, but I don't need this many. So I really, I have a whole video on my physical TBR, even though it's literally grown since then. In October, I think I already know one of the books I want to buy, which is Mary Jane by Jessica Anya Blau, which is the audiobook I'm listening to right now. And it is so good. And I just want the physical copy. So I think that's going to be one of my books for this month, but I think so, this will be really beneficial to me because it's not like completely cutting off my book buying because, you know, I'm probably going to also buy A Court of Wings and Ruin, which is the next book in the Akatar series. Because if I put myself on a book buying ban, then I won't be able to buy the next book in a series or like new releases. Oh wait, crap, I already did buy one book this month. So I'll have to choose because I bought It Starts With Us. I pre-ordered it this month, so because that comes out soon. It's the sequel to It Ends With Us and I'm so excited. But we have that book and then I'm probably gonna buy Mary Jane by Jessica Anya Blau. Might have to wait till next month. Or I'm gonna buy A Court of Wings and Ruin. Actually, I'll probably buy A Court of Wings and Ruin in November. You guys don't care about that. I was just letting you guys know that I have put myself on a book buying restriction and if you are struggling with how many books you buy and you don't want to put yourself on a complete ban, I think doing something like this is really beneficial.